Daryl Morey, the former GM for the Houston Rockets, he already has a new job. He's going to be the GM for the Philadelphia 76ers. And just like Doc Rivers, that was fast. As soon as he's available, he's gone. And when he left the Rockets, he said all of the right things. He was doing the PR politically correct thing to say. He was even making up excuses that he wanted to step away from the game to spend more time with his family, blah, blah, blah. But here we go. He's already taken another job. So it wasn't so much about the family taking a break from the game. It was just getting out of that environment. At the start of this season, Daryl Morey, he launched a China controversy when he was tweeting in support of the protesters. And immediately when he did that, the Rockets organization, they were in full on damage control. They had James Harden come out with an apology. The Rockets team owner came out almost immediately and started apologizing. Clearly the team was not on the same page as Maury and it became a political event. The NBA lost a lot of money during that and there might have been pressure for the Rockets to move on from Maury at that time, but it was so hot politically that if that would have happened, it would have been insane. Our politics are already crazy enough. It makes sense that in the off season, they were going to move on from each other. What's interesting about this move for the 76ers, they have two philosophies going at each other. Daryl Morey, he's all about analytics. So much so that with the Rockets, he completely sold out on the three-pointer on small ball. They didn't even have a center because he believed so much in the analytics that threes are everything. Then on the other end, they just signed Doc Rivers who he was being criticized for ignoring his analytics staff when he was coaching for the Clippers. So now this clash is going to happen. We know that Maury, he loves to pull the trigger on trades and specifically blockbuster trades. So how will this team change? And then Doc Rivers, he's going to have to manage all those changes and win because this 76ers team, they've been disappointing the last few seasons. They feel like they should be much better than they are. They feel like they should be in the NBA Finals. But you've got Ben Simmons underperforming. Embiid, he's great, but he's not very consistent. Sometimes he's there and he dominates, and then other times you can't tell that he's there. They have a lot of pieces that they could trade. They've got some valuable pieces. We'll see how crazy it's going to get with Maury because he's pretty exciting come trade time and deadline time and offseason time. Will he trade Ben Simmons? He might, he might get rid of Ben Simmons. I mean, that's a very valuable piece to trade. What if he wants to trade Embiid? Because Embiid, he's a little injury prone. He doesn't play all the games in the season. He's been much better since early on in his career when he really was sidelined, but I can't wait to see what this 76ers team is gonna do. It's gonna be very interesting to watch. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's see if I can get somebody leaning in transition. Their defense is not set yet. Oh, I got him! Finally! That's how you drop 50. By dropping somebody and making it splash. I gotta redeem myself. I've missed two ankle 